in water. Now, I have something we call a density of water. And I'm looking for the uptrust of this body. This means I have to look for the uptrust in this water. Good. My RD is known. Look at that well. RD is known 0 0.8. Uptrust in water, I don't know. Please don't consider this as uptrust. That's the density of water. So I have to go and look for the uptrust in water. Okay? But uptrust in water is given by density by volume by gravity. Now, where did I get this formula from? Let me just do a simple proof for you here, right? Okay, you can understand. Density equals <coughs> mass over volume. So if I make mass the subject, I'm going to get density by volume. That is the term you are seeing here. Right. Now what is force? Why am I saying force? Uprust is a force, an upward force, which acts on immense bodies, right? So force is mass times what? Acceleration. <coughs> mass, is that my mass? Density by volume, right? Is that acceleration? Good. That is how I come behind this formula. Please, you see where the formula is coming from? So that is where the formula is coming from, right? Let me put it somewhere here for you. Density equals mass over volume. I make mass as I get density by what? Volume. Now, force equals mass times acceleration. Now, uprust is the same as force. Uprust, right? <coughs> Let me put here force. It's the same as what you call uprust. Force is the same as uprust. So, the mass, whatever I see mass, I shape in this. Do you agree? That is density by volume, and there's a gravity. So that is how come we had this formula. So that's the formula over here. How is very clear. So I have density, 1 times 10 to the power 3, volume, 1 times 10 to the power minus 3, gravity, that's 10. Now what are you going to get? Please point this for me. 1 power 3, 1 power minus 3, and 10. That will give us our answer. Okay, I'm going to get 10 watts Newton. 10 Newton, right? Okay. In the residue, this and this will go off to be 0. 1 by 1 by 10. That's 10, right? In the residue. So this and this will give you 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 10. That's 10. Now, I have my upfrost in water. What are we fighting for? Uptrust of the body, right? So this is like the 0 0.8 equals the uptrust, uptrust of body over what 10. Now cross multiply. You see that this uptrust, uptrust of body equals 0 0.8 times 10. 8 Newton. So this is what I'm looking for. You see, uppress is a force. So, so that is it. So please take notes and look at these questions very well. When it gives you a side of a, a, a figure, right? That is not a volume. You should know. Now volume is length and breadth and height, right? That gives me the volume to be used. Okay. Good. Now let's look at this question too. A body weighs 10 newton in air. That is a weight in air. And if newton, when completely immersed in a liquid, that is the weight in liquid. The density was given, but the value is not standard. Density of liquid. That is the density. Let me put it this way. Density of liquid. It was given in the subunit. That is gram per cm cube. Determine the volume of the body. Good. This has been given in gram per cm cube, right? And I have Newton. They are standard. I have to change this one to the standard form, okay? So I have 1 gram per cm cube equals 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Then, see the conversion? What will 0 0.86 give me? So 0 0.86 will give me 0. Point, remember from the beginning of the video? 0 0.86 gram per cm cube. 
all over this will come here as well. It doesn't change by 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. Oh, 0 0.86 by 1000. What are you going to get? 860. 860 kilogram per cubic meter. So this is the density of the liquid. Why did I change it? My parameters are in standards. So this is a subunit of density. It's supposed to go to the SI unit. That's kilogram per cubic meter. That is the reason for the change. Now determine the volume of the body. Good. Now I can see W E and that's across and I can see W L right. You know loss in weight is an uprust. Okay, so look at this work very well. I can put this formula. Uprust equals W E minus W L. Do you agree? Yeah. So weight in air, 10 Newton. Where's the liquid? 8 Newton. Now, where is my upthrust? You see, I have a density. And I have gravity. Right? Gravity. To be 10 meter per second square. Good. So you know this is this by this by this. Remember the formula we did? Good. So the density here of the liquid is 860. The volume I don't know. That is my target. This is 2 meter. So, the fact that you can solve one density question, there's no need that you can solve other density questions. Be very. So, you just have to make sure that you go through all the questions, right? Then you become acquainted with them before you can solve. So, there is 860 by this. 860 is there again. V equals 2. Now, if I divide both sides, if I divide both sides by 8,600. I'm going to get this. Now, my volume term is going to give me 2.326. So the volume, 2.326 times 10 raised to the power 4 meter cube. That is the volume. Now, uh, there is a final question on our density relative density. A block of wood of mass 25 kilograms. Now, that is the mass of the wood. The volume is 3.2 power minus 2. Love the volume unit, meter cube or CM cube. Flows in water. Calculate the volume of the wood above the surface of the water. Above the surface of the water. Wow. How am I going to get this? I was also given the density of water. Density of water, 1 times 10 to the power 3 kilogram per cubic meter. That is equal to 1,000. Good. Now, cover the volume of the wood above the surface of the water. What do you think you're going to do? Look at the question very well. The block itself has the volume of all this. Now, when this block is in water, it floats. And when it floats, we are asking us to just find the parts above the water. It means there will be a part below the water. We are not interested in that. Just the parts above the water. So why don't we look for the volume of uh, the volume of the wood? Calculate the volume of the wood above the surface of the water. Why don't we look for the volume of the water, right? We subtract that from the volume of this, or we look for the volume of this particular wood when in the water, right? You see, that when you put it in water, it will displace, or it will occupy a portion in the water. That occupied portion becomes its volume in water. So let's look for that volume of water and subtract it from the total volume of the block itself. Then we will get the volume above the surface of the water. So that is what we are supposed to be doing, right? Okay, so there's a density of water, right? Good. And there is this. So density equals mass over volume. Now volume is mass over what? Density. Now what is the mass? 25. The density, 1 times 10 to the power 3. Kilogram, there is kilogram meter per cube. 
Good. That is mass over density. So, this and this will go up. By way of reciprocation, this will go up to be positive trend, right? right? Good. You see, it will go up to be positive trend. Now, what is the volume here? 25 over what you see. Okay. So now give us 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter watt cube. That's the volume. So do you know when I subtract this volume from the entire volume of what you see, uh, the wood, you are going to get a volume above the surface. Now what? That is the volume of the block. So before the block went into the water, this was the volume. Now when the block entered the water, we had this. It means the water has also occupied some part, right? Part of the block is missing. That is why they say parts above the surface. It means part is missing. Probably maybe below. So you subtract this from that, then you get the part above the surface of the water. So that is how it goes, right? So simple. Okay. So let's continue from here. So let's know something. Are we dealing with water? Okay, volume of displaced water. The volume of displaced water equals the volume of wood in water. How did we know this? Volume of displaced water equals the volume of wood in water. Now, you know that when you are doing the experiment to determine the density of an irregular object, when you lower that thing in the water, there will be amount of water which will be displaced in the irregular that displaced water is as a result of the immersion of the stone or the mango in that measuring the eureka can. Good. So the volume of displaced water is equal to the volume of the wood. So the water which was displaced as a result of you putting this block, uh, this uh, block of wood into the water is the volume of the wood. So the water you, you, you lose becomes equal to the volume of what? The wood. So this will give us what? So volume above surface. We have the value you see there. Minus what? This value here. That is minus two. Minus two. Now, what I want to get here. This is also minus two, right? Okay. This value is minus two. Okay. There. Okay. Good. So what I want to get here. So that is 7 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter watt cube. 7 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter cube. So that is the end of the topic called density and relative density. Right? Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that to our, our channel. And don't forget to give a usual thing. Thank you. See you.